nothing is as decentralized as Bitcoin main layer, layer one. Um, there's trade-offs to get to layer two, but there's also benefits that come with those trade-offs. And I like to say, you should use the right tool for the right job. If you're transacting large amounts, like Liquid was originally launched for facilitation of exchange to exchange transfers, like saying moving from uh, Bitfinex to OKX to uh, BitMEX or something like that, where you're sending like 20, 30 uh, liquid Bitcoins, right? And that is something you can't really do on Lightning because you need to route. Lightning is better suited for small payments. And of course, the threshold is increasing as the, the Bitcoin price is moving up, right? We can route bigger and bigger payments in dollar terms. But still, like you, you'll never be able to route you know, hundreds of Bitcoin through the Lightning network. And it may not make sense either because Lightning is essentially, uh, uh, Lightning wallets are hot wallets. Whereas for Liquid, you can have hot, warm, and cold wallets, just the same as any exchange uh, infrastructure, right? I can receive the Liquid Bitcoin, move it to cold storage, move it out when I need to uh, send to users or whatnot. But there, it, it, it's more akin to the standard model where the exchanges are used to um, storing their coins in different um, varying degrees of security uh, and isolation. So, you know, Lightning is great and Lightning and Liquid would probably, probably be even better um, because uh, there are benefits to having Lightning networks on top of Liquid because the block times are every minute and the fees are lower and um, channel closes will be more predictable. So I think it's a kind of a, a, a both of them will be used in the future. It's just a, a matter of when, not really if. And I think wallets will end up supporting, um, you know, main chain, uh, lightning on main chain and then liquid and then lightning on liquid assets and then we can probably handle a lot of uh, channel rebalancing and things like that and make that more automated for end users so that for them using Bitcoin is just a, a seamless experience without any hassles or complexity.